What are the sleeping habits of the narcissist? First of all, some of them may suffer with insomnia. They may not sleep all night and choose to sleep all day. This enables them to torture you while you are trying to sleep. They will shake you, rouse you, pull the covers off, or start an argument with you in the middle of the night because they're bored, they want your attention, they're lonely, and you're there for their entertainment. Don't forget that. No matter what you do, you're just their clown. I once found my ex unable to sleep at night, and how I discovered this was I felt in my deep subconscious sleep someone was staring at me, and I woke up to find him absolutely hunched over the bed, staring at me wide-eyed. Not only was this extremely creepy and jarring, but it made me feel extremely uncomfortable and immediately he felt that I needed to wake up because he couldn't sleep. So therefore I needed to give him company to do absolutely nothing. And then he started an argument a short while later. The second um, example that I have about sleeping is I've, I had spent an entire weekend running around town taking him to different Sufi uh, masajid and mosques and places of worship and gatherings so that he could make some Sufi acquaintances because he said he missed his spiritual tribe. So once we got home on the Sunday, I was extremely exhausted from all of the running around and socializing that it was about three o'clock in the afternoon. It was Ramadan, mind you, so more reason to be exhausted. And I said I needed to have a nap and I went into the room and fell off to sleep. Half an hour into my nap, he comes to the room, wrenches the duvets off of me and starts shouting at me. What is wrong with you? I'm mad at you. You've abandoned me. And I'm like, what? Yeah, he literally started screaming at me in my sleep. Woke me up to tell me that in my sleep, or me taking a nap, was abandoning him. Some of them might just be nocturnal, and then they cause all their havoc during the night. Some of them have frequent naps during the day to supplement their sleeplessness at night so they can wreak havoc during the day and the night. Other times they will have long, very deep sleeps and they want absolutely no disturbance. Not a pin must drop. You must even stop breathing while they are sleeping because they don't want anyone to disturb them or any slight noise. But when you're asleep, the dishes will be banging, the doors will be slamming. They'll even start screaming at you in your sleep because your sleep is absolutely not important to them. But the reason why they want to cause this absolute chaos in your sleeping schedule is because when you are tired and worn down and you're barely getting four to six hours a night, you are more easily susceptible to brainwashing, manipulation and subliminal cues and control. This is how many people, uh, you know, are brainwashed by in prisons and on CIA or late night television. This very deep mind control can only be inseminated, if that's the correct word, or disseminated when you are in a very, very, very low energy, low vibrational state. You're so tired, you're so worn out, all your defenses are down and you are willing and able and more open and susceptible, more agreeable to anything to any kind of influence and control and manipulation. You will have very little will or willfulness against them. So it makes it much easier for them to control, manipulate and subordinate you while you are absolutely exhausted. They will criticize you for having lots of sleep. So they will try to deprive you of sleep any way they can. They will criticize you when you're barely getting three or four or five hours of sleep a night no thanks to their antics, but they will criticize you for having too much sleep, even though you're completely sleep deprived and exhausted. Some narcissists also feign insomnia so that during the day they can play victim and say that they've not had enough sleep. This will enable them to avoid um, and escape their responsibilities, whether it's cleaning up in the house or fixing the door or the garage or fixing the car or even going to work. They'll claim that they didn't have enough sleep last night, so they're not going to do it. 
Some narcissists go to bed very early and wake up very early to have something to gloat about, that they're superior to others because they're more productive than others. So they will weaponize their sleeping schedule in order to gain the upper hand and show their superiority over other people who need more hours of sleep or who sleep a bit later or who don't get up as early as them or work as hard as them. They will weaponize this and use this as a trump card to put you down and make you feel small and belittled. The reason why narcissists are so tired when they do take those long naps like a bear or frequent naps during the day or night is because of three reasons. Firstly, they're hypervigilant. They're like this big eye of Mordor, constantly scanning for reactions from you and their environment and to feed back to their operating system on how to react to you. And then they watch themselves and they watch their reaction to you and your reaction to them. They're constantly analyzing, scanning, and um, you know, searching for clues on how to behave and how to best exact their torture and abuse. Um, so this hypervigilance lends them to be very exhausted. The second reason why they're usually very exhausted is because of this mask that they're wearing of perfection, of superiority, of being better than everyone else. They have to really, you know, live it. So it's very exhausting keeping up this fake persona and having to wear it everywhere they go. It's a huge burden to them and it makes them very tired. The other reason that they are exhausted a lot of the time and take those frequent naps or very long naps is because they use that time to gather strength so that when they wake up again they can exact more torture on you and that is how they can sustain having an argument that lasts seven hours plus. I don't know any normal human being that can stand ha having an argument for up to 16 hours but they will literally do that and sap and drain the living daylights out of you um, through this energy extraction and that is why they are left completely exhausted as well. And that is why they take those long naps. So this in a nutshell is the extremely and incredibly dysfunctional sleeping patterns and lack of sleep, sleep hygiene, uh, as it were, of the narcissist, whether covert or overt any type. This is how they sleep in order to cause immense havoc on you, evade responsibilities, show superiority, and conduct the most relentless arguments that go on for hours and hours and hours on end, enough to drive anyone insane. This is me wishing you a wonderful night's restful sleep. Lots of love, assalamu alaikum and goodbye.